Hey everyone, in this video, we'll talk about how you can create your first agent using Google's Agent Development Kit. We'll create it using two ways. One, using a visual builder and two, using a no-code YAML configuration way of building it. But before we start talking about how you can build an ADK agent, let's understand the anatomy of what a Google ADK agent looks like. Google ADK agent consists of these parameters. Firstly, it has the name of the agent and two, it has the model that is going to be powering this agent. Now this model can be Google's first party model, but you can also use any open source model or third party model using the light LLM integration. Once we have those, we then have the instructions, which is going to define the persona and you're going to give it the instructions as well as the output structured and the schema that you want your agent to follow. You can think of it as a prompt, but a more detailed prompt that you're going to be giving the agent. And then we have description. Now, why would we want to have a description when there's already instructions? Descriptions are great for multi-agent system. When one agent needs to communicate with the other agent, it's going to only look at the description of the agent in order to make the transfer. And then we have output keys, which is a concept wherein you're able to pass parameters from one agent to the other, other agent. Don't worry, we'll talk about this in depth when we talk about multi-agent systems. We also have tools which is going to equip the model and the agent with external knowledge base. Now these tools can be first party built-in tools. We have a bunch of built-in tools like Google search, file retrieval, Vertex AI search, etc., which you can use readily out of the box. We also have integration with third party tools like Langchain, Crew AI. If you have an agent that's created elsewhere, you are able to bring it in to ADK system seamlessly. But let's say you have a tool which doesn't fit either of these requirements. You can build your own tool using what is called a function tool. So this is where you're creating your own custom logic and you're defining your tool, which can be used with the agent too. Now that we talked about the anatomy of an agent, let's start building one. So before you start building an agent, the first thing you want to do is get a Gemini API key, which is going to be used throughout this project. You would create a .env file and then enter in your Gemini API key. Now that we have the API key, let's go ahead and create a virtual environment within Python. Now that I have my virtual environment activated, I'm going to run, go ahead and run pip install Google ADK. Now, if you already have a version of Google ADK installed, you can do an upgrade to version 1.18, which is the minimum version that is required to start using the Visual Builder feature. Let's wait for this to complete. Great, I now have the pip install complete. I'm now going to go ahead and run ADK Web. This is going to open up the web console for ADK. And here I'm presented with new option, which is create a new agent in visual mode. I'm gonna say visual agent one. So once I create this, you can see on the right hand side, I have assistant, which is which I can use to create a natural language based agent. And on the left hand side, I have also a workflow based visual builder that I can use. Let's first start with the natural language scenario. I'm gonna say create a bull and bear research agent for a given stock. Essentially what it's doing is once the user provides a stock, it's going to use the Google search built-in tool to understand and analyze the bull case as well as the bear case for the particular stock. And then give me a summary in a bulleted list. So let's go ahead and run that. And it gave me the YAML file. I'm going to go ahead and say, yes, this looks good to me. You can see that once I've submitted as yes, it's now populated my agent with the instructions automatically. It's also filled in the inbuilt tool that is required to perform this action. So let's go ahead and save this and now give it a shot. I'm going to say NVIDIA and let's wait for the response. Ideally, what it should do is it should take the stock, do a Google search on the stock ticker and give me the bull case and the bear case and analysis. I now have the bull case scenario for NVIDIA as well as the bear case scenario. You can see that I was able to create this ADK agent with a built-in tool with instructions all with just a single natural language prompt. Now let's go ahead and edit this builder again and this time let's explore some of the options that we have with the visual builder. I'm going to close this out and you can see here that I have the option to add a sub agent. I can add an LLM agent, sequential agent, loop agent, or a parallel agent. Don't worry, we'll cover each of these agents in the subsequent videos, but for this video, we're gonna keep it simple to a single agent. Now, outside of that, we also have tools that you can add. There's function tools, which is basically you define your own Python code. And then we have built-in tools 
these are the list of built-in tools that's available to be leveraged using the visual builder you can use vertex ai search in the user choice like a human in the loop and i have file retrieval preload memory etc in this case you can see that it's automatically populated with the google search i also have sub agents which we just talked about and then there's also options to define the callbacks right within the visual builder now why would we want to use callbacks again this is a concept which is useful for a multi-agent system but where it really comes in handy is let's say for example you want a particular deterministic action to be taken before or after the agent call or the tool call you can leverage callbacks in order to accomplish that now let's go ahead and save this and i'm going to go back to the agent that is created for me using the natural language processor so you can see here that it provided instructions the model the description as well as the sub agents everything using a yaml configuration file there's no code involved here now what if i wanted to create my own yaml based no code configuration without a natural language prompt like we used in the adk visual builder so here's what you would do you'd use the adk create command and give it a name saying yaml agent and then add in a switch which says config so once you've provided this it's going to ask you for certain options like in this case which model do i want to use i'm going to say gemini 2.5 and i'm also going to say google ai and i'm going to enter in my api key so once i've entered my api key i now have the root agent automatically populated for me i can now test this out using the adk web command i'm going to ask what can you do so so there you go the agent is working as expected it's not a very comprehensive agent it's minimal instruction but i wanted to show you how this agent works in in today's video we talked about three mechanisms how you can create your own first agent without really having to be a developer you can use the ai assisted way of building it you can use the visual builder or you can use a yaml based no code configuration file in the next few videos we'll talk about more advanced concept for multi-agent systems and callbacks, etc. But for now, thank you for watching. I'll see you again in the next video.